Hello and welcome. My name is Merely Adequate, and you're here for some redstone basics. So let's get going. First up is the signal inverter. Fairly self-explanatory. Sometimes you need to reverse the power of your redstone line. Whether it's you need to keep a light turned off or keep a piston down. And this is how you do it. By placing a block in the middle of your signal path with a redstone torch on the back of it, you will reverse the signal. If you see here, it powers it straight. Afterwards, nothing. And then if you remove your power source, then they both activate. Very simple, signal inverter. Next up is the OR gate, also very simple. Whether you place a power source here or a power source here, you will power the device. Sometimes, however, whenever you place it here, you don't want the signal coming all the way over. So how you can avoid that is placing a solid block in the middle of the signal path, putting a repeater on this end and on this end, and that will stop the redstone signal from flowing, but you can still power the device from either side. That is an OR gate, also extremely simple. The third device is the AND gate, only slightly more difficult, but also extremely more useful. What you have here is a device so that you cannot power it from just one location. You must send two sources of power. These are sometimes used in combination locks or other fancy doors where you want to make sure and have two different sources or if you're trying to get uh, a confirmation between two items before you power your final destination, this is very helpful. The build is very simple by placing down three solid blocks with a redstone torch on top, redstone dust in the middle, and another redstone torch on the top. And then right in the middle, we use a reverse signal, just like we did, the inverted signal over there, torch here to reverse what's going on on top. So if you have just one torch in, this is on, powering this and turning off the signal inverter. Same way, if you have them both off, these torches are on and also unpowering this torch, keeping the signal from flowing through. However, if you have one here and here, the combination of the two cancel each other out and allow the signal to continue on to its destination. An extremely useful gate. I use it all the time. This is the AND gate. The fourth is a very fun one. It's the ABBA gate, or A-B-B-A. And the best way to explain this one is to show you. If we put down a power source here, you're going to see destination A come up, then destination B, and then we, when we remove the power source, you'll see destination B go down, then destination A, like so. A, B, B, A, A, B, B, A gate. And what they are used for is if you want to have, say, something hidden in the floor or a special door and you need something to uncover before you reveal, but then you need the revealed item to go away before you cover it back up. You definitely need the AB BA gate. We'll remove these four repeaters and we'll show you. So what you have here is four blocks in this configuration. The input source is here. The output source A is here and B is here. First, we'll put down a repeater so you can immediately power A and that goes up first. Then you want to come over to provide signal to B so that these extra delay here will allow that to go second. Now what allows them to flow in the opposite direction is this one right here. Because as I'll show you in a second, what will happen is, is when you unpower, this will go off immediately but power will still be flowing to this block from here, and it won't go away until after this goes away, thus making it stay up until B has finished. You ready? Let's get down here so you can see, and you'll see that this redstone repeater right there is the last thing to turn off. A, B, B, oh, excuse me, <laughs> B, A. Now that happened a little fast, 
Let me show you how you can delay it and I can show you better. Don't touch these first two repeaters. You will do the second set of repeaters and that will delay the signal some. A, B, here we go. We'll look for that this repeater there to be the last thing to turn off. B, A. And that is how the A, B, B, A gate works. It's a fun one, I, <laughs> I like it. Lastly, we have the one with the funnest name. It is the T flip flop. Very odd name for a very cool device. What you do is you, uh, normally when you press a button, it just provides a temporary signal then goes away. But in this case, when you press the button, it powers this device and stays there. And then when you press the button a second time, it will depower it. This is done with hoppers, excuse me, mostly droppers, there is one hopper in there. Let me actually build it with you and then you'll better understand how this device works. First, you're gonna to wanna to put down a dropper that faces the power source. And then in front of that, you're going to have a dropper facing straight up. Then we'll turn around and on the hopper that's facing straight up, you're gonna to wanna to place another dropper facing towards the destination. And then in this corner that you created, you're gonna to wanna to place a hopper facing straight down. And the last integral part is a comparator facing out in the direction of your destination. At that point, you can put redstone, or probably a repeater or redstone dust or whatever you wanna to do to continue your signal on where it's gonna go. I will just put down a <laughs> piston, <laughs> forgot the name for a second, put a piston right there. And then you're gonna want your signal flowing in to this bottom dropper here. And the last thing we're going to do is right here in this bottom dropper that's facing up, is we'll place any item there. So what will happen is when I press the button, this will force the item up and over, and then because it's a hopper, it'll go down. It'll stay there and the comparator will read it, providing signal. When we press the button a second time, it'll actually suck the item from here back to this dropper where it will stay, turning off the comparator and killing your signal. So you see there's the item, we'll press the button once, it goes up and over, and it is there. And then whenever we pull the button, it sucks it back out to there. That is how the T flip-flop works. It, it can make some of your devices look more professional using a button rather than a lever to make it actually function. And thus it's one of the, uh, the great five basic redstone devices that you should know. There are tons more redstone things to know, but those are five basics. If they're helpful, please let me know. If there are other things you'd like to know, please leave it in the comments below. But other than that, I hope you've enjoyed this tutorial and I hope that you found it adequate.